Hi, my name is Tristy and this is a continuation of day 30 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get um, our app up and running on Heroku. Um, when we want to deploy to Heroku, just go across to um, toolbelt.heroku.com um, and we need to just download a couple of files in order to get the uh, get access to the Heroku command in our command line. So if you've already got Git installed, which I'm hoping you do, um, then you can just go across to standalone, which is um, this little option at the end here, uh, and go ahead and um, just install uh, the Heroku client. And um, there's some commands here in terms of how you actually go ahead and do that. So you just need to download that, go ahead and, and get that installed. Um, once you've got that, uh, the other thing you need to do is go across to um, heroku.com and just sign up for a new account. Um, and it's all free, you don't actually need credit cards or anything like that. So um, those are the two things that you need to do in order to get started with Heroku. It's really, really quite um, quite straightforward. Um, when, you're, when you're signing up to Heroku um, and you go through the sign up process, all you need to do is make sure you've got an email address that you're using to, to sign up and you've got a password. If you've got those two things, you don't need to go um, any further than that in terms of um, doing any kind of setup in Heroku itself. So you just need to get your login details sorted. Once you've got that, um, what we'll do is just open up our command line. So I'm just using uh, Windows PowerShell. I'm just gonna move it over here. Um, and in this, we're just gonna CD across to our, um, our folder where our app is actually sitting. And I've just hit that twice. So let me do that. Okay, cool. So um, we paste in the, the path to where our main app is sitting. Um, make sure that we're pointing to the right directory. Um, and now we're just gonna log in to Heroku. So it's just Heroku login. Put in your email address, come, put in your password. Make sure it all authenticates correctly. Ooh, what's it done? Okay, it's just ignoring some stuff, that's fine. Um, now I'm just gonna go Heroku create. So try that again. Cool, so it's gone through and, and set that up. Um, now all we just need to do is push the source control, so the git, uh, we're going we're gonna to take that git package that we've created and we're going to push that through to um, to Heroku. So we just go git push Heroku master. Okay, so I've got a passphrase that I've already set up with Heroku, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. So we're just now pushing our files up to Heroku. Just wait till that's done. It's going through now and getting the app um, up and running. So it's installing all of the relevant dependencies. It's going through and installing Bower and the client side packages now. Cool. So that's gone through and it's got it installed. One last thing I want to do is I'm going to tell Heroku that I want to run this app as production so that I can use those uh, minified application files that, um, that we set up previously. Um, to do that, we just go Heroku config set node environment to production. Oops, I didn't like that. Um, that's because I've got a space between um, the, the colon here and um, set. So I'll try that again. Just hit the um, up arrow and I'm just going to remove that little space there. Try that again. Cool. So it's setting um, the node environment variable now and it's just um, uh, restarting. Cool. So our app is pretty much up and hosted now. So that was really quick. Let's just open that up. So we just go um, Heroku open. And that just automatically opens up a new browser window 
And here is our app. Um, now, I will have to go through and sign up again to get access to it. So if I um, just sign up, go through this process. Um, all right, let's try that. Cool, so if I go to customers and go to list, so we don't have any customers here at the moment, but I can go ahead and create a new one. So my first customer that I'm going to add to my app is um, um, Bugs, good old Bugs. So Bugs Bunny. And let's say that he's being referred. And there's, um, there's Bugs. Um, so that's where I'm going to leave it for, for this video. Um, Hope you have managed to get your app up and running. Um, you know, send the link out to all your friends and um, yeah, let them know all the cool things you've been doing um, over this past month. Um, and yeah, let me know how you're going as well so I can check out the, the cool app that you've made. Um, what I'll do is I'll also go ahead and create a couple of other videos and show you how to set your app up um, on a couple of other um, cloud hosts as well. So thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you again soon.